This video demonstrates managing an on-premise polyglot environment consisting of Liberty servers, Strongloop servers, and Liberty Docker containers using Liberty Collective Controller as a single management interface. Liberty servers are Java runtime based, Strongloop servers are Node, and Liberty Docker containers are Liberty servers packaged in a Docker container. This is the admin center. Clicking on the server section, you can see that two Liberty servers are already running in the environment. The L member 1 and L member 2. They are configured for a cluster named static and running the application named lab. Deploy rules are used by the collective controller to drive the deployment of strong loop servers and Liberty Docker containers through a REST API. The controller provides two default deploy rules, one for strong loop and one for Docker. Let's expand our collective by adding some strong loop servers. I use the REST interface to deploy a strong loop member using a deploy rule. The deployment creates the server and joins it to the collective. The default deploy rule does not then start it, so I can start it through Admin Center. Now let's join a second member. It has a slightly different application name, and I'll give it a different server name. Again, it is not started by the default deploy rule, so I'll go ahead and start it through Admin Center. So now this collective controller is managing Liberty servers and strong loop servers. Let's extend it further with Liberty Docker containers. Posting is the same as for strong loop, only changing the JSON body that is used for the Docker rule. The deployment creates the server, joins it to the collective, and starts it. Now I'll deploy a second Liberty Docker container. The ports are dynamically configured using deployment variables in the collective controller. This capability is not available at this time for strong loop servers, but for the Docker container it prevents port duplication. My collective is now managing a polyglot environment with Liberty servers, strong loop servers, and Liberty Docker containers. All these server types may be further managed with collective features like dynamic routing using IBM HTTP server or data power auto-scaling, and health management. This concludes this demonstration of managing an on-premise polyglot environment with WebSphere Liberty Collectives.